I recently changed my upload day to Saturday, not realizing that Christmas and New Year both fall on a Saturday. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I hope you guys, whether you're watching it on the day or in the future, I hope you're good. If you are new, my name is Sarah and this is 445 Designs. I make over furniture, so I hope you enjoy that kind of content. And if you do, consider subscribing and hit that like button and the bell notification. You can follow along on my journey. Today's makeover is no different. It is lost footage from before we moved to Nashville and I wanted to share it with you guys today so I hope you enjoy this makeover. I also wanted to say a huge thank you to Pam and Diana. You guys, I am so thankful for your generosity. Thank you for keeping me well caffeinated on the Buy Me A Coffee app. I appreciate and am very grateful that you guys would do that for me. I am sorry that this is a sort of a late thank you. It has been a crazy, I can't believe we've been here like just over a month, but it's been a crazy month. Also, there's this. Hi, I'm Drew Forster. I'm Darrell Houston. And together, we host the Creator Podcast, and we couldn't think of a better way to close out our second season than with the podcast takeover by Sarah Lager and 445 Designs. That's right. Throughout the month of December, your favorite Aussie furniture flipper is taking over our feed with three episodes detailing her journey as a creator, a carpenter, and YouTuber. So don't be a rat bag. So don't be a rat bag and make sure you check out the Creator Podcast everywhere you get your podcast or in the link below this video. Merry Christmas. The podcast that you just saw the ad for, all three episodes are now up. So if you're curious to know a little bit more about me, you can follow the link below and listen to that conversation that I had with Darrell and Drew. It was a lot of fun. So on that note, let's get into it. A lady was selling it. She was an older lady, so it was her son's when he was little. So it's quite an old desk. She didn't want any more. Five bucks. Five dollars. I'm gonna be painting it with DIY paint. What better paint, right? Look at this. Then, old school. <laughs> this is like a gray charcoal black color. This top is, it's really bad. Really, really bad. But I want to give it a whirl. I'm going to really sand this bad boy back and see how much of the, the stains I can get out. So there's this, the varnish has all come off so this stain has gone down into the wood so that's gonna be fun. And then, you know, red, there's lots of red. There's lots of, I don't even wanna know. Probably, I would say. So, the only reason I could use my plane was because I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt <laughs> that that is one thick, solid piece of wood. Some of those stains went down in deep and, you know, a couple of mil of wood really needed to come off of it. I don't plane often, so if you do and you watch that and you are cringing, <laughs> forgive me. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> if you're 
one of the ones cringing. I, you only get better with all of this stuff with practice, right? That's how it works. I'm going to take my sander to this now and use my foam abrasive sander for my surf prep and round off these edges and get them all nice. So I have my wood conditioner, a chip brush, and a rag. surface is clean I have washed it rinsed it now the thing with DIY paint is you don't have to sand you can paint over any surface it just says to make sure that your object is clean and dry and ready to be painted clean and dry I'm doing laundry <laughs> It's unbalanced, but it sounds like wetting my brush. using Minwax Golden Pecan. We'll see. I'm going to do a test spot and see if it goes well. Ooh, okay. I like that. 
because this is an oil-based stain and I'll be put, I will be putting on a water-based top coat, I'm going to wait the recommended, which I believe, actually I might wait over the recommended. I'm using Minwax Polyacrylic Ultra Clear. for this desk and I decided to change to a sponge. Okay. Yeah, so I've discovered a few things about this desk. This is a gun lock desk. From the little branding on the side, I can tell that it's a desk from the 1940s, which is super cool. And another really cool uh, thing about the gun lock company, not necessarily this desk, JFK. Uh, had a gunlock chair. His chair behind the president's desk was a gunlock chair. Yeah, I just thought that was fascinating. Uh, I went down a little rabbit trail as I was researching what that symbol was on the side and what it what it meant. Thank you guys for all your love and your support and your encouragement. I am so thankful and grateful for you all. Enjoy the afters. And I will see you on next week's piece. Bye, guys.